Just when you thought there weren't enough pastel colored pencils, I have found more. <laughs> Color has recently released their 50 macaron color colored pencils. Um, I have to say the tin is absolutely gorgeous. So if you want to just say that you bought it for the tin, that is an acceptable excuse because that's where I was going with that. Just kidding, I actually got it because, well, you know, I love to collect these <laughs> and compare, and why not just keep buying more, even though I'm pretty sure they're all the same colors. So, <clears throat> here is how these bad boys look when you open it up. It is covered or shrink-wrapped in plastic. I took that off to save your ears. Um, you receive a nice little swatch card on pretty decent, very smooth cardstock. I will mention this only came in a bubble mailer, so if it got thrown around in shipping, broken cores are probably um, going to happen. Now, these are soft touch, um, artist premium quality, uh, debatable, uh, <laughs> rich and vibrant colors, soft smooth lead, and non-toxic. So if you want to lick your pencils, you won't die from it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Please don't lick your pencils. All right, on the inside. You have a nice little color chart here, which does match up with the little handy dandy one they provided. It gives you their code, their name, and uh, their light fast rating. According to them, one is extremely light fast. Now, I don't know if they use ASTM standards, but basically, you know, the traditional is if something is rated extremely light fast it should be able to last 100 years in gallery or museum conditions so that lighting um i highly doubt <clears throat> that these are up to that par because i got this set of 50 for really cheap <laughs> so um this is just kind of based on whatever they're going to call it so i'm going to use a swatch chart they sent but first things first, are these not in order? Mm, they might start from this side. They do have these adorable pink trays, but for those of us with nails, oh my gosh, it is quite the feat to get them out. They're not too flimsy, but we do have some bendies going on. Oh, I like how the bottom tray has this doodad. Oh, see, I do have a, a broken one. Told ya, they came in a bubble mailer, so I was kind of curious, although, I don't think that lead came from this one. <laughs> this one looks fine, so, um, and I don't see any that are broken. It's a mystery. Uh, I wish the top one had these little rubber band things. I move all mine to a case. I literally have all my pastel pencils in a single, oh my gosh, a single case. <laughs> okay, not easy to reinstall. Um, come on, you. Well, let's get a color that you can see anyway. How about that? Okay, so nice painted barrel with a shiny finish and color dipped end. I always appreciate that. And then on the barrel, written in gold, you have the color name, the light fast rating. So this would be good light fastness. The code and then color. I just like saying that. Anyone else have that problem? All right, so it does look like they go, I lied, nope, they're not in order whatsoever. <laughs> so I thought maybe they went this way because Ivory was the first, but the, nope, it doesn't. So what I'm going to do is I'll just swatch however they came because I've got a tiny little chart and let's just see how these feel. I'm gonna swatch a few in real time and then we'll swap over to sped up. Because I'm working on a desk with a grainy texture, I put another piece of paper behind this just so that the grain doesn't come through. Okay, ivory, which is supposedly extremely light fast. Ooh, really zoomed in there. These are soft. So I'll give them that. <clears throat> I see. They put them in numerical order in the case, FYI. So let's find cream. Oh, aha! The chart goes this way. Look, we just learned something together. <laughs> I'm, I normally go this way. Okay, so cream.
Not bad. I did not pre-sharpen these out of pure laziness. <clears throat> Naples yellow. It might sound a titch scratchy, but excuse all the <laughs> traffic going through. But uh, they're actually quite smooth. Um, flesh. And we'll compare these to the Castle Art Pastel Tint, because I happen to have the swatch nearby. Hmm, interesting. Juan Brilliant. Will I probably have like any colors that are unique? I doubt it. Uh, you can only make so many pastel colors. And most pastel pencils are always going to be soft because of the white added to them. White is always a pretty soft pencil. <clears throat> but hey, could be wrong. Okay. So I have swatched that column and I have not noticed anything funky, but what I'm going to do now is keep swatching. I will speed it up so you are not watching me swatch all 50 and then we'll be back to discuss. So enjoy the music and the swatch or just hop to the next section if you want to see them all done. Okay, all swatched and ready to go. So I also have my little 48 pastel tint, pastel tint <laughs> Whew, from Castle Arts. They only have 48. This one has 50. Um, you'll recognize some of these names are identical to the Brute Fooner macarons and uh, Holbein. <clears throat> so honestly, I gotta give a shout out to Castle Art for being one of the few <laughs> that did a pastel set and didn't copy Holbein names. Kudos to y'all. Uh, if these were cheaper, they'd make a lot more sense. But <clears throat> that said, you are not really gaining any new colors. Um, like they, in fact, like line up perfectly. <laughs> so. Um, granted, if you have this 48 count set, you gain two, but <clears throat> in comparison, same, same, 
Same. 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 I, I just found that interesting that those ones lined up so well. Uh, so yeah, looking at this, um, the order from there does kind of get a little wampus. But, um, I mean, you have such similar greens, you know, um, let's see, like, for the grays, this one is a little warmer, as they call it, warm gray, whereas this is peach rose, that name I never really quite understand, it's a warm gray, though. Uh, winterberry and cool gray are pretty close to one another, uh, even this wisteria and lilac pretty spot on. <clears throat> um, I would say this set seems to have a few more pinks, but I bet you Blushing Rose and Coral are the same. Macaroon and Amaryllis are the same. So yeah, I bet you if I like went through and kind of re-swatched these all out, um, we would get really close, like, you know, swatching them side by side. Um, Inca Gold and Mustard are the same. Pear Green and Sunflower. <clears throat> you get the point, right? <laughs> um, so yeah, I would say, oops, as I bend that. This has a couple more pinks in it, uh, darker pinks, I should say. And that may be the two extra you're gaining here because Tickle Pink, I love the castle art names, they're cute. <laughs> Tickle pink um, <clears throat> matches up pretty well. Uh, snow waffle. Uh, I think that snow waffle matches the shell pink better than peach cream. I don't know. S snow waffle actually might match their peach, and I just pressed harder. It's hard. It's hard to say. But I mean, here's the thing: you can only make so many pastel colors. Every set may have a slight, slight variation, but really, in the end of the day, you're going to end up with uh, the same-ish. Uh, then it just comes down to what do you prefer for the field? Do you want it oil-based or do you want it wax-based? Yes, I know there's no such thing as those, but I'm trying to keep it simple. <laughs> um, would you like it predominantly oil, predominantly wax? Okay, or soft core, or a harder core. However you like to compare the two. Then you have to look at your price point. What's your budget? Um, the Astra Pastel Low costs like about 13 US dollars. Um, you know, whereas the Castle Art are a little bit more expensive. The price has come down since they launched though. Uh, you also have the Arteza Pastel Colors which have also started to come down in price. Um, <clears throat> you have the Brute Fooner macaroons, which are <laughs> pretty much a knockoff of the Holbein's, except with a lot of typos. <laughs> so then you have the Holbein's, which are an artist-grade pencil, and they're the only ones that you can purchase open stock out of all of the brands out there. So keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, there's only so many pastel colors a company can make. That's why you'll notice most sets out there are either 24 or 48 or 50 because they know the max they could create. Could they make more pastel grays though? For sure, for sure. They just don't because why? Um, so <clears throat> I probably would color with these. Not probably, I'm going to because I have that one Hannah um, Carlson book that's all pastel colored pencils but I have my favorites when it comes to the pastel pencils um, I really do love these castle arts for one like I said only company that came up with their own names <laughs> I'm sorry but I must applaud creativity but for that creativity you have an outrageous price tag so <laughs> but they also are incredibly smooth I love the way they feel these are wax leaning, so they're softer. Uh, these are wax, it says. Um, so they're soft, but they're not as soft as the, the pastel tint to me. Uh, I, I would also say the Artezas are a little softer than these. <clears throat> so you got to, you know, think about that. And then um, when it comes to Holbein, you all know my thoughts on Holbein, so I'm not a big, I'm not the best person. But I think what I'm going to do... 
because we are just getting drowned in pastel sets. And, you know, I can't resist the buy button, even though I know I'm going to get the same colors. <laughs> just, they're pretty. Look at this. They are pretty. So I think I'm going to do like um, a big comparison where I just color a bunch of pages using each set. And we can see like how they perform in my Hannah Carlson book because I'm already doing that one all in pastels. So this will be a good way to see how they all perform on the same paper and compare them based on price, uh, value. I mean, because you have to keep in mind, Holbein is completely different from Brutfuner, despite the fact that they share the same names. Um, you know, open stock availability, there's only one that does that. You know, are they harder, softer? So I think we'll do some comparisons and have some fun. Maybe, you know, <clears throat> it'll be more like I did with my Neo Color 2s versus the, the Lyra and uh, such. But these aren't bad swatching wise. Um, first impressions. I absolutely hate the packaging just because of my nails. I can't get the, on this second tray, I had to take this out and literally bend it and wiggle it to get the pencil out. And then as you can see over here, they don't, see how this one's like poked up here? They like, they fit in there really snug. Like you have to, yeah, you have to really <laughs> get them in there. Ugh. So they'll just go in that case where I have pr pretty much put moved, wow, words, moved everything to one pencil case full of all my pastel colored pencils. <laughs> except Holbein's. They're still living with their other Holbein friends. So yeah, I think that'll be fun to do. Not a fun little project, but let me know. Did you buy the Kalur? Do you own the Castle Art? Do you own the Brute Fooner? Or are you a dork like me and you own every single one? If you do, totally okay. I understand. They're pretty. But it would be fun to play around with these. And the nice thing is, run out of Orchid White, I got a backup. <laughs> Uh, it's a little more tingy on the yellow, but whatever. So yeah, I'll color a page with these. Maybe that would be a fun little live stream playing around and then do a full comparison later. I love comparison videos and versus battles. So it'll be fun to check them out. But either way, these were pretty good. Um, were they as soft as the pastel tint? No, these so far have been the softest that I have gotten out of all the pastel pencils. I found these to be the softest, the creamiest. They're also full of a lot of filler, <laughs> um, but so are these. So, you know, to each their own. These are overpriced in my opinion, but I would probably still buy them just because I like the way they feel. Uh, these aren't too badly priced, so I will leave a link in the description below. They are way cheaper than the <clears throat> Castle Art. And then, of course, they may go down in price as the hype, you know, decreases. But I love that they gave me a chart because as my career of swatching gets older and older, I just like to take my little hole punch, punch it, and slap it into my swatch book and call it a day. I highly suggest you do the same if you ever get these because it saves so much time. All right, enough rambling. That's what I think are my initial first impressions of the Kalur. Let's do a little coloring with them down the road, and maybe then we can go from there and do a full-on versus or comparison or something. Let me know what you would like to see in the comments below, because that always helps me plan out my content. All right. Until next time, everyone, take care. Bye now.